In today's video, I'm going to cover what is required to begin developing applications with the ML2, including tools such as Lab 2.0, Unity ML2 SDK, and ML2 Zero Iteration. We're also going to be creating a simple ML2 demo scene, which will allow you to interact with 2D and 3D objects, as well as adding a feature to control global dimming. Download either the Windows version or macOS version of Lab 2.0. It's gonna be the application that we're gonna to use to download all the SDK plugins and everything that we're gonna be using today. So once you do that, you're gonna also download Unity Hub 3.2.0 or greater, depending on the version that is available today. Okay, so once you have Lab 2.0 open, go ahead and go into the Package Manager. And in the Package Manager, we're going to be installing the Unity bundle. So you can click here and then look at everything that it's going to install. You can also go into all, and if you wanted to install them individually, you can also go down here and install everything individually. What I recommend that you do is just go ahead and do Unity and then install. I already have everything installed, so I don't need to do that. But once you do that, you're gonna have everything required. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. Once you get everything installed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating a brand new project. So to do that, we're gonna go into the Unity Hub and then new project. And the version that we're gonna need is going to be the beta version. So if you guys see, this is the version that we're going to be using. Also keep in mind that not only the beta version is required, but you're also gonna need the Android component. So if we go and cancel here and go to install and look at the beta version that we are installing, which you can get into, you know, by doing pre-releases and install editor. You can also uh, go onto, onto the Unity website and download it that way. But what I wanna show you is if you hit settings in here and then add modules, these are gonna be the modules that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Android build support, OpenJDK, and also Android SDK and NDK tools. So make sure that you install that. Everything else is going to be optional. Once you do that, we're gonna go back into projects and I'm gonna create a brand new project now that we have that. We can do, in my case, 2022.20B5. By the time that you test it, this might be out of beta or you might have a greater, a later version that 0B5. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into 3D URP. If you don't have this template, it's gonna show you an option here to download it. So just go ahead and download it. And then once you do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be pasting or actually typing in our name, Magic Leap 2 Samples is gonna be what I'm gonna be creating and then click on Create Project. Let's go ahead and go into Window, then Package Manager, I'm gonna click on the plus symbol. And then we're gonna be installing the Magic Leap XR components. So you're gonna search for com Unity XR that Magic Leap. And then the version is going to be an experimental version. So we're gonna do 700 and then experimental. And it's gonna be that three. So click on add. It's gonna tell you that it's using the new input system. Just go ahead and hit yes. Okay, so it looks at like that completed successfully and it's going to restart Unity now. So let's just wait for that. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to install the SDK. So I'm gonna show you where that is. Go ahead and go into run. And then I'm gonna go into my home folder, which is my name. And then in here, if you search for Magic Leap, no, this Magic Leap is gonna be the one without the dot. And then if we go into it, you're gonna see that we have a lot of different options in here. So one of the options we're gonna need to install through the package manager, so which is gonna be under tools and then Unity. And then this is gonna be the latest version that I have right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that path. And if we go in here, we can search for a package in the disk. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that path. Then you can go into the SDK, which is what we need, and select the package.json file. And if you get this pop-up, it's okay. Just click, I made a backup, go ahead. And now we should have the SDK completely installed. There's gonna be another package that I want to install, which is gonna be a tarball. And if we go back into the version in here, 53, 053.2, there's gonna be this ZI, F Unity, which stands for zero iteration front end. And that's gonna allow us to do development and then basically run the device within Unity in play mode. So just go ahead and install that by double clicking on it. I'm gonna go into edit. And if you go into preferences, one thing that I want you to pay attention first is make sure there's no warnings in here on their Android and external tools. If you have any warnings, make sure that you disable your antivirus for some reason. When you have the antivirus enabled, it causes a lot of problems with this. So if you do, just close out of Unity, disable the antivirus, reopen Unity, and then, or reinstall Unity, and then it should, you know, all the warnings should go away. So once we do that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into Magic Leap. I already have this already pretty fine, but if you don't, 
You can go back into the folder that I show you and then just make sure that you set the Magic Leap SDK to the version that we're currently running. And then the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna go back into our player settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and we can go into file, build settings. We're gonna be building this. So click on switch platform. All right, and you're gonna be getting a couple of warnings in here. We'll fix that. It's because it needs the right color space. And in player settings, there's gonna be a few things that we need to do. The first thing is we're gonna go into the XR plugin management, click on that. And then if you go into the standalone, we're also going to be using what's called a Magic Leap Zero iteration. And this is cool because we're gonna be able to build and play the scene right within device. And then not only in the device, but we're also gonna be able to see it in Unity. Okay, so we have everything enabled in there. Now what we need to do is we need to make a lot of changes on the player settings. So the graphics API that is required for Magic Leap 2, it's going to be Vulkan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other two. That way we don't get confused. And you can see that as soon as we do that, the, the errors, the warnings actually went away. And then I'm also going to be changing this. The version is gonna be API level 29 for the minimum API level. I also need to change the scripting backend. It's gonna be IL2 CPP. And then this is not gonna support ARM v7 or ARM64. It's actually going to be using x86-64 Chrome OS and Magic Leap 2, which I thought was really interesting because I never used those options before, but that's that's how the setup works. We're gonna go down to Publish Settings and we need to make sure that we enable a custom main manifest. And the reason for that is because this is gonna be required for Magic Leap 2. If we wanna set up custom and, and actual permissions for Magic Leap, this is going to be how that is done. Now let's go back into Magic Leap, and there's gonna be something called manifest settings. You need to make sure that you enable the custom manifest on the options that I just showed you before you do this. And these are dangerous, but we're gonna enable everything because this is a demo and I wanna make sure that we can test every single feature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enable all the features in here. Once you enable them all, we should have all the permissions set up correctly. So the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this information from URP. So I'm gonna remove the tutorial info. Okay, so we got all the URP settings basically removed. And the reason for that is because I want to do a custom one. So I'm gonna right click in here and then go into create rendering. And we're gonna be doing a URP asset with universal render. And this one we can just call URP underscore. Make sure that I type this correctly. It's really hard to talk and type at the same time. Okay, so. Once you do that, there's gonna be a lot of settings obviously in here. I'm just gonna disable a couple of them that we don't need. We don't need the HDR, so we're gonna be disabling that. And then the last border here for cascade count on the shadows, we're gonna be setting it to five. And this is basically based on the recommendation and also the shadow distance. For me, it looked better when it was lower, so I'm just gonna set that to, to a number one. And I think everything else in here, it's fine. So now let's go into file settings and then player settings. And I'm going to be associating the, the graphics. So if we go here on the graphics to the actual pipeline, we're gonna be selecting URP pipeline. So double click on that. It's gonna say, it's gonna give you a warning here. It's gonna say continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that main camera. I'm also going to go into scenes here and we can rename this to be hello. It's gonna be a completely new scene. And then what I'll do here is if we go down to Magic Leap SDK, Runtime, Tools, Prefabs, you're gonna see that we have a main camera here. And I'm gonna drag it and drop it here into the hierarchy. And this is everything that we need to be able to use a camera right on the device as a Magic Leap camera and also other components. So now that we have that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a simple cube. So we can go here and then create a cube. And this cube is just going to be rendering right in front of the camera. So I'm gonna do one here, and then we can do 65. And I think the size, I'm gonna keep it really small because I wanna be able to, to have multiple of them. All right, so I got the device on. Let me hit refresh and make sure that it does show. And if we go in here, we can now see the device listed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and build it to a device. We can go into desktop here. This is gonna be Magic Leap Demo. And I can hit save. And looks like we did get an error. Let me make sure that, okay. I did forget one setting. Let's go ahead and go into player settings. 
And it's funny that I know what it is because I've been, I think I spent too much time testing this. So if you go in here, there's a texture compression format. Make sure that you change that to DXT, otherwise it's not gonna work as you guys can see on the error logging here. Okay, so it looks at the finish reloading. I'm gonna clear the errors here and we're gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna put it in my desktop and hit save. And then once you need to connect, I'm connected to the device via USB-C. So then the next thing that you wanna do is to go ahead and hit play so that we can connect to the session. I can interact with some of these objects. I can basically move them around. And I'm gonna cover how to do this in the next video. That way you guys know how to add an extra rig, also how to add a grabbable component so that we can interact. And you can also see how we can interact with the UI. All right guys, so that's everything that I wanted to show you today. If you guys want to download that code right now, you can go into Magic Leap 2 samples and clone the repo. This repo has everything that I just showed you today, including the global dimmer functionality, which I'm gonna be walking you through on the next video. So that's everything for today, guys. Thank you very much.